Blessed is our God, now and always. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our, our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. Shout out, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Announce to my people their rebellion, to the house of Jacob their sins. Yet day after day they seek me and delight to know my ways, as if they were a nation that practiced righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They ask of me righteous judgments, they delight to draw near to God. Why do we fast, but you do not see? Why humble ourselves, but you do not notice? Look, you serve your own interest on your fast day and oppress all your workers. Look, you fast only to quarrel and to fight and to strike with a wicked fist. Such fasting as you do today will not make your voice heard on high. Is such the fast that I choose a day to humble oneself? Is it to bow down the head like a bulrush and to lie in sackcloth and ashes? Will you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I choose to loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness, and your gloom be like the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs, needs in parched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of the streets to live in. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us recall in the silence of our hearts our role in causing division and brokenness. Do I recognize the dignity of all people? O God, the creator and preserver of all humankind, we humbly pray for all sorts and conditions of men that you would be pleased to make your ways known to them, your saving health to all nations. More especially, we pray for thy holy church, universal, that it may be so guided and governed by your good spirit that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led to the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to your fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or spirit, that it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their needs, giving them patience in their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen.
Do I allow God to speak to me through the lives of the impoverished and marginalized? Almighty and most merciful God, remember before you all poor and neglected persons whom it would be easy for us to forget, the homeless and the destitute, the old and the sick, and all who have none to care for them. Help us to heal those who are broken in body or spirit and to turn their sorrow into joy. Grant this, Father, for the love of your Son, who for our sake became poor, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Do I strive to remove barriers between people? Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Do I play my part in creating a fair and just global society? Grant, O oh God, that in your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Do I challenge unjust systems and structures? God of grace, giver of every good thing, your Holy Spirit breathes into our hearts and sets our souls on fire. Give us grace and courage to speak your truth with boldness, that the principalities and powers of this world may be turned from oppression and recast in the image of your most holy kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord.
do I allow society to degrade and dehumanize people? Look with pity, O oh Heavenly Father, upon the people in this and every land who live with injustice, terror, disease, and death as their constant companions. Have mercy upon us. Help us to eliminate our cruelty to these, our neighbors. Strengthen those who spend their lives establishing equal protection under the law and equal opportunities for all. And grant that every one of us may enjoy a fair portion of the riches of your grace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Do I speak out when others are fearful, oppressed, or treated unfairly? Lord, make us in instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. And where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that which we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Do I work to influence my country's foreign and domestic policies? O oh Lord, you rule all things in heaven and earth. Give us the wisdom to understand your will and the strength to work for justice and mutual respect that are the fruits of our dwelling together in unity. For the sake of your Son, the King of Kings and the Prince of Peace, even Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Do I work for peace, not only in my community or country, but throughout the world? Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, guide the nations of the world into the way of justice and truth, and establish among them that peace which is the fruit of righteousness, that they may become the kingdom of our, kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to end war. 
for we know that you have made the world in a way that people must find their own path to peace within themselves and with their neighbors. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to end starvation, for you have already given us the resources with which to feed the entire world if we would only use them wisely. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to root out prejudice, for you have already given us eyes with which to see good in all people if we would only use them rightly. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to end despair, for you have already given us power to clear away slums and give hope if we would only use our power justly. We cannot merely pray to you, O God, to end disease, for you have already given us great minds with which to search out cures and healing if we would only use them constructively. Therefore, we pray to you instead, O God, for strength, determination, and will to do as well as pray, to become instead of merely to wish. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. The grace, mercy, and peace of God be with us all tonight and always. Amen. Amen.